hey there welcome back to the channel and as you can see here we have uh and by the title of the video this is initial thoughts from a kentuckian on the anderson kiger 9c pro being from the state of kentucky here having something made in kentucky i'm more than pleased to do this review so this is going to be an initial review to a point like uh show you all the pistol go over its features and uh, fire a few rounds the sunday range review is coming on this so first things first let's make sure that the gun is clear and safe for handling which it is you see that bright orange follower in that magazine that magazine is empty and there's nothing in the chamber so this pistol is safe for handling at the moment so yeah we went over this in the unboxing video i'm uh, Really tickled today's finally came here. We get to uh, take some shots with it here. But uh, yeah, well, I could talk about everything that we've talked about. The uh, the grip, you know, the stippling on the grip and the back strap, the front strap, and so on. And, uh, you know, but uh, I went over a lot of that in the, uh, the unboxing video, the extra tall sights for uh, optics or suppressor height, however you want to say it. Uh, the lightweight cuts on the barrel, the, uh, the flutes, on the barrel there yeah, plenty of picatinny room and uh, a lot of grip zone on this pistol for sure and the overall feel i just can't get over i don't know I was, uh, probably a cornball unboxing but i just i can't get over the feel of this pistol in the hand it is something else with uh, the way they've cut out their indent indentations here on both sides for your inner finger knuckle and for your thumb and the extended beaver tail on the rear, it just it feels right. And uh, yeah, I'll send a few bullets with this. You get the recessed muzzle on there and uh, a lot of other things. So I just, I like the style of this. Ever since I've seen this released, I've wanted to uh, to get uh, to get a, an Anderson here, a Kiger, and uh, get one of these uh, good old horsies here to run. So let's, uh, Let's dive into it. Let's get the uh, let's get us a target set up, and we'll uh, see what she's got. Okay, we get started here. We're just going to try some uh, American Eagle. These are Federals, one twenty four grain full metal jackets here, and I've got ten of them loaded up. Got a fresh target out there, and we'll see what kind of group we get out of this. First shots, guys. Never pulled the trigger on this, so here we go. firing off a rest because I want to know exactly where it's hitting, you know. Okay, that was all 10. Let's go check out the target. Okay, you can see here we got a pretty good group. It's uh, not sided in, but there you go. You're looking probably around a little over three, right at three inches or so span. Not bad. Almost made a smiley face. Look at that. It's pretty good, huh? <laughs> all right, we'll get this cleaned up and try it with one more tap. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. This is the uh, Ammo Incorporated. This is 115 grain, so they're a bit lighter. And these are full metal jackets too. So these are a bit lighter with bullets. Let's see what kind of group we get out of these. We put a new uh, new pasties on those bullet holes and the tar new target up, so see what we can do. Okay. Kind of hard to get a rest i need to adjust this a little bit but do my best that may be the problem actually so i blame myself let's see yeah 
Yeah, I pulled on that first one bad. Okay, that was all 10. The magazine's empty, the barrel's empty, the chamber's empty. Let's go check out the target. Okay, there we go. A lot better of a grouping now. So you can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. These are the first two I said I'd pulled on. I was holding wrong for me anyway. I blame me for those. But that is a lot better of a group, and I think a lot of it's just getting used to a different type of uh, pistol. To be honest so we'll get a fresh target up and uh be right back okay for this go around we're going to try some uh reloads of mine these are um acme bullets they're red of course but they're 115 grain okay so we're going to send 10 of these at that uh, target and see what kind of group they give us okay Fresh target. Let's see what it does. Okay, it was all 10. So far, so good. Now, the magazine's empty, the chamber's empty. So let's go check it out. All right. Well, if anything, my group is getting better. <laughs> yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And would well, that have been... I don't know. There's another one in that mess somewhere. That's, that's a pretty darn decent grouping from that distance, so I'm not complaining at all. Okay, this go around. We're going to try 10 rounds of the Spear LE Gold Dot Duty Ammunition, as this is in 124 grain, okay? It's a little bit heavier. But we'll try some hollow points, a little bit of defensive stuff, and see how it groups up in comparison to the others. Here we go. In. good deal so far is so good that's for sure that's pretty awesome magazine's empty chamber's empty let's check out the target all right as you can see we got a better group here for sure that uh spear did the best so far so i'm, I'm really tickled with that that uh every bullet sure uh grouped together real nicely on that so yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 yeah all right crew that was it there that was just uh i just wanted to do a short video just an initial kind of break in and see what it did with different uh ammos on the channel here and i have to say i'm pretty pleased so far uh next appearance of this we will have an optic mounted to it and uh be be sure you tune in for that that's going to be a sunday range day our sunday range days are a full-on blitz we uh have fun shooting reactive targets and uh, and do a few different things. So hope you tune in for that one. And uh, I, so far, I'm pleased. I am really pleased. And uh, for handling purposes, it's empty. The mag's empty. The chamber is empty on it. So yeah, it's safe for handling now. But so far, I'm uh, I'm really pleased with it. It seems to be holding up really nice. Um, 
I don't have any real complaints about it. It might be shooting just a little bit to the left, but hey, these are drift adjustable, so I'm not I'm not really worried about it. Uh, everything seems to be holding up really well. The sights are good and tight. No complaints in that area. And uh, yeah, and by the way, we are running the P mag that were the yeah that was provided with the pistol. Okay, from from Anderson. I'd like to do that throughout the whole video to get you all a good gist of how how that'll hold up too. So there you have it, guys. Like I said, tune in for the next one. We'll cut this one a little short because it was just an initial review um, overall from from a Kentuckian standpoint. How's that? <laughs> so we uh, we appreciate it. Got a lot of good stuff coming up with this one, and a big shout out and thanks to Anderson Manufacturing, located here in Kentucky. We hope we uh, we do you justice. So see you on the next one, guys. Till then, take care.